Hello. Welcome. It's our last day down on the farm. We have had such a fun week. Today is kind of a summer fun celebration day. It's the last day of our summer camp and then on Monday we'll start with our regular school year learning. Let's head back to the classroom and get started. Will you help me snap? One, two, three, snap. We're back. We're back in our classroom. Let's get Sue to come out and say hi. Sue, Sue, hurry, hurry. Our friends are here. Do you want to wave and say hi? Well, Sue, today is our last day during down on the farm theme. I really liked how you looked this week. We'll do something fun next week, but right now I think we need to do our job. So Sue, you can sit back down for just a moment so we can feed Fred. Okay, there you are, Fred. Here's some fish food. Well, now that Fred has been fed, let's pick a pointer and do our calendar time. Hmm, which pointer should we pick today? Let's pick, let's pick the scarecrow. I think that we would often see a scarecrow in a garden down on the farm. So let's pick this one for today. The month is August and let's reach in and see how will we count today clap our hands so let's clap and count here we go everybody one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven today is august eleventh august eleventh if you go up to the top, you can see today's day of the week starts with F. Letter F says F, F, F. So what day is it today? F, F, F. It's Friday. It's fun Friday. Let's sing our days of the week song. time to look outside your window and see what your weather is like for today. I'll get the umbrella in case it's raining. Or maybe it's sunny for you or whoosh, windy. Are you ready to sing? When I do like this, just shout out whatever your weather is. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? It is. It is. It is. Out today. It is. It is. It is. Out today. Well, let's dress weather bear. Weather Bear, we're gonna put on a t-shirt for you and we're gonna put on some overall shorts. And what is the season, everybody? The season is summer, it's summer. Well, that was our calendar and weather time and now it's time for some letter review. So we're going to review all the letter sounds and the hand motions today just to make sure that you remember those before we start our new school year. 
Okay, so this is letter A, and A says A, 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 as in Achoo. B, B says What does F say? Like a firefly blinking on and off. G. G says G, 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 G. H. I. 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 Like an icky sticky lollipop. J. J, 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 as in jump. K, 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 like karate. K, K, K. L, 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 M, 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 N, N. N, N, as in no. O. Ah. P. P, P, P. Like popcorn popping. P, 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 P. Q. Qua, 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 as in quiet. Qua. R. Like a motorcycle. S. S. Like a snake. S. T. 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 Like a ticking clock. T. 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 U. Oh. 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 Tummy ache. V. Violin. W. As in wake up. X. 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 Like a water squirter. X. 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 Y. E. 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 As in yell. E Z, Z like a bumblebee. Well, you did a great job. Let's get back to the classroom and we'll do something else. One, two, three, snap. You did a great, great job remembering all those letters and sounds. We're going to also review our vowel sounds. We learned those this week. But we're going to do those again today just to make sure we don't forget. So the vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. The vowels are important because every word must have one. If it doesn't have a vowel, it's not a real word. This is my friend A. And my friend A needs to sneeze. What does A say? Ah, 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 as in achoo. <laughs> Good job. This is my friend Old Man E. Old Man E can't hear very well. What does he say? Eh, eh, eh. What did you say, Sonny? Eh. This is my friend I. He loves lollipops, but he gets icky and sticky and says, eh, eh, eh. This is O, and O has a sore throat. O goes to the doctor and says, ah, ah, ah. This is 
you, and he ate too many sweet treats, and now he has a tummy ache, and he says, Oh, oh, oh. Great, great work. I think it's time for a little break. Let's do something fun. How about we play a game called Bingo? Okay, so for our bingo game today, you can get a copy of the board if you go to the lesson plan. We're just going to see if we can find the things that I call out. When we get all of them in a row, then we'll say bingo. Okay, so we're going to just put an X. If you want to play again, you can put something on top like a goldfish cracker or a piece of cereal or just a piece of paper. Let's see if we can find an ant. Can you find an ant? There's an ant. Let's put an X on the ant. Next, we're going to find a carrot. Can you search and find a carrot? There it is. And if you're sharing with me on the screen, you can just point to the picture that I say. Now, can you find a king? Where's the king? He's wearing a crown. King. There's the king. Okay, now we're going to look for a barn. This week we went down on the farm and we made a barn. Can you find the barn? Here it is at the top. There's the barn. Now we're going to look for a bat. Can you see a bat? There's the bat. Okay, now we're going to look for a mouse. Can you find the mouse? The mouse is all the way down at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to look for a cat. Can you spot the cat? Hmm, where is that cat? Here it is. Now let's look for a frog. Where is the frog? Ribbit, ribbit, I found the frog. Let's look next for a sock. Can you find a sock? The sock has dots on it. I see a sock. Let's next look for yarn. Yarn. Yarn is like string. Where's the yarn? There it is. Okay, we're going to look next for a balloon. The balloon is going pop. Can you find a balloon? The balloon is going pop. Here it is on the bottom. Okay, and now we're going to look for a tree. Can you find a tree? There's the tree. Okay, let's see if we can find a parrot. Where's the parrot? I found the parrot and I think I found something else. I see four in a row. That means we have bingo. So on the count of three, let's say bingo. One, two, three, bingo. Well, for our song today, we're going to sing a song called Bingo. And it goes like this. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and bingo was his name. Oh, let's sing that again. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O B I N G O B I N G O and 
Bingo was his name. Oh, you can keep singing that if you want to. And in the place of each of those letters, you can just clap like this. There was a farmer had a dog. Bingo was his name. Oh, now clap instead of saying B. I N G O. I N G O. I N G O and bingo was his name. Oh, you can keep doing that and then you can clap two times for B I and then say N G O if you want to. Well, it is time for us to do something fun. We're going to read a story. So let's do story time next. Well, we've been down on the farm all week, and today's story is called It's Pumpkin Time, Little Farm. And it's almost pumpkin time for us too, isn't it? You know it's pumpkin time when the little farm wakes from its long sleep to a brisk and cool fall morning. You know it's pumpkin time when the little farm sees geese flying south for the winter. You know it's pumpkin time on the little farm when the farmer and his wife eat pumpkin pancakes with maple syrup for breakfast. You know it's pumpkin time when the animals on the little farm get fed their early morning breakfast of pumpkins, oats, and gourds. Look at all the farm animals. You know it's pumpkin time on the little farm when the apples fall from trees and are ready for apple picking. And it's almost apple picking time, isn't it? You know it's pumpkin time when the little farm's truck begins to rumble down the road with a heaping load of shiny pumpkins to sell at the market. You know it's pumpkin time when you taste the crisp homemade apple cider from Little Farm's Cider Press. You know it's pumpkin time when the Little Farm smells of homemade pumpkin bread just out of the oven. You know it's pumpkin time when you see the scarecrow rise out of the cornfield behind the little farm. You know it's pumpkin time on the little farm when leaves start to make a magical blanket of colors on the ground below. You know it's pumpkin time on the little farm when the pumpkin patch has vines winding through pumpkins of every shape and size. You know it's pumpkin time when the farmer's wife begins to make homemade applesauce with the freshly picked apples from the little farm. You know it's pumpkin time when the little red tractor at the little farm pulls the hayride full of moms, dads, and children out to the pumpkin patch. You know it's pumpkin time when the big tractors begin to work in the fields from dawn until dusk on the little farm. You know it's pumpkin time at the little farm when children run from the bus to the pumpkin patch to pick a pumpkin just the right size to take home. You know it's pumpkin time when the animals of the little farm are taken in from the fields and are snug and warm in their little cozy red barn in their very own stables for the cool fall nights. You know it's pumpkin time when the days begin to shorten and the sun starts to set behind the hills of the pumpkin patch on the little farm. You know it's pumpkin time when bats come out at dusk to dine upon apples that have fallen to the ground below. You know it's pumpkin time when the harvest moon rises and all is quiet and peaceful on the little farm. It's almost pumpkin time, little farm. Good night. I'm definitely ready for pumpkin time, but this week we talked about the farm, didn't we? And this whole summer we've had so much fun with a different theme every week. Our themes included circus and camping, pirates, room and things that go, ocean, space, rainforest, insects, dinosaurs, and this week the farm. So I want to present you with a certificate. You did such a great job all summer long. Congratulations. This is for you. And you can get a copy of this, parents, with the lesson plan. And I hope you'll join me next week. We're going to start our school year learning, and I am so excited about it. So come out and say goodbye to our friends. 
Goodbye, everyone. Great job. Have a fun weekend, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.